you're not really forgiving the debt, you're just redistributing whose shoulders the burden is to bear. What are your thoughts on President Biden forgiving 1020k in federal student loan debt per borrower? Why should debt be forgiven? No one makes you sign up for debt. You do that yourself. I mean I get that people aren't all that financially savvy when they're 18 and a university lets you borrow as much as you want. There are a lot of people that don't go to school because they're afraid of financial debt or borrowing a lot of money. A lot of people drop out of school because they're afraid they can't pay it back and work in a warehouse or something. Were those people wrong because they could have gotten $10,000, which is probably enough for a two-year program at most CCS, just forgiven. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that didn't have the money to go to school, and were afraid of taking on debt because they were taking care of family, a single mom struggling, etc. It's a huge screw you to everyone else in my opinion. Why not forgive some people's mortgage debts, people that went into trades and bought $10,000 worth of tools to work as a mechanic, people that spent $5,000 to go to CDL school, etc. Seems pointless to me, and also a bit insulting. I've worked my ass off to put myself through college debt free, meanwhile kids who chose not to work and took huge loans are getting off the hook? Give me a check for 1020k then. On top of that it doesn't solve anything. It's an incredibly short-sighted decision. American education is twice as expensive as the second most expensive education system in the world, and it keeps getting more outrageous every year. We should be finding ways to make it more affordable. I think it would be better to permanently freeze all interest to 0% and reduce all current balances by an amount equal to total interest paid on the debt to date. This way taxpayers do not pay for someone else's education but the government is also held responsible for their part in creating the spiraling education costs to begin with. Let them pay of their debt over time, but there's no reason to ever have interest on it. I have been in education for a while, and have been working in higher ed for the last couple years on scaling accessibility to learning with high-end universities. The problem is far larger and more complicated than loan balances, and this makes the actual problem of making higher ed accessible and affordable larger. Tuition inflation is so high because people have easy access to basically unlimited financing for tuition, view education as a requirement, and there are finite seats in reputable higher ed programs. People decide they are going to school regardless of price, the system will give them loans for basically any amount of money necessary to do that, and they will take whatever those loans are and enroll. This means that higher ed is a price inelastic good. Because of this schools keep raising tuition and demand doesn't go down. The university's best interest is therefore always to raise tuition. They take that increased tuition money and put it into their admin budget to do whatever they want with, hire more people on their teams, build fancy amenities, etc. You can see this because school budgets keep ramping admin costs, not the budgets of the actual programs. The money goes mostly into hiring around the people who are deciding to raise tuition, and into amenities. Professors aren't the ones drawing budgets and raising revenue, so they don't get to allocate the new revenue to themselves. Notably, the universities do not meaningfully increase seats, really ever. The value of a degree is driven largely by its exclusivity, the hiring manager viewing it as a prestigious mark on your resume that helps them easily filter the stack down, so you can't scale seats arbitrarily without devaluing the degree. Forgiving loans will reduce downward pressure on price even more, increasing tuition inflation, thus making it even more expensive to do the next round of tuition forgiveness. We should solve the actual underlying problem first. But that problem is complicated and people have little interest in interacting with complexity, so no one is even talking about the actual problem. Instead we will do a simple thing the public can understand, and keep the snowball rolling down the mountain, growing. The Pell Grant filter is a good idea though. Education loan forgiveness is regressive, it helps wealthier people more than poorer people because poor people generally don't go to college at all, so filtering by Pell Grant eligibility, and thus family income, is a good filter. This fast tracks my loan repayment plan by at least a year, I graduated with an engineering degree last fall and I've been paying $1,600 a month since I started working to aggressively pay it before interest starts again. Do I wish I had more? Sure but I'm frankly surprised the government actually did anything at all. I'm well aware I'm lucky to have a high paying job, a cheap rent, and no kids with my degree. I'm also aware not others are as lucky as I am so I'm glad they got some help too, since they needed it more than me. My personal opinion is people agreed to the loans, so they should be stuck with them. If we are going to forgive, I feel a lot of data needs to be crunched on the colleges and majors and see if there is a trend. 
If colleges are offering degrees and programs that have a high probability of people not being able to pay back their loans, that's a problem. New loans at those schools or for those degrees need to have people sign huge disclaimers that hey, this may not be a good investment. Really we are bailing out the colleges as much as we are bailing out the people. Colleges need some kind of repercussion for getting people to invest in a subpar education. If you want to be a theology major that will never be able to pay for your degree, fine, as long as the American people are not on the hook. That's a rich people education, or for someone who gets grant scholarships. I just used theology as an example, who knows how the data will turn out. Although I am glad there is some help aid to the horrendous student debt crisis, I think the entire system needs to be redone inside out. I also have concerns and frustrations about this as well. I have worked very hard to pay for my local community college without debt. Although I am happy about seeing many people receiving the $10,000 towards their tuition, what about all the people that have paid off college loans? This is very discouraging to those who struggled for years to pay off their loan only to see this happen. This also reminded me of when the pandemic first hit and the people without jobs got more money on financial assistance than the people who worked through the pandemic and we still never got any assistance, except for the stimulus checks that were sent to both the employed and unemployed. Who is going to pay for all of this? Probably the taxpayers. We are still dealing with inflation and this makes me worry that things will get even worse. As someone who is generally left-leaning, I think it's completely unfair. First, you're not really forgiving the debt, you're just redistributing whose shoulders the burden is to bear. Overall, this means less payment per person, in the form of taxes, but it still means that the universities and the financial institutions are getting their cut for predatory business practices, while literally everyone else, even those who already paid off their debt, are worse off for it. I'd much rather see my taxes go directly to paying someone else's education rather than having to line the pockets of a middleman as well. Second, what about all of the students who were buried in debt until recently and finished paying it off through hard work? Are we just gonna shrug our shoulders and tell them should have borrowed later? They're no less deserving of debt forgiveness than anyone else. Third, why should it only be limited to student debt? Why not mortgages, credit card debt or car debt? Are those not just as essential? In my opinion, this is just a band-aid fix to a deeper, systemic issue that needs to be addressed. Don't forgive debt. Instead, destroy the predatory system that creates debt. The latter is what politicians are supposed to do. Not just write checks. Doing this is like saying the unfair system is fair. It teaches young people the world will save them from their mistakes. No more letting 18-year-olds with zero credit history make those kinds of decisions. Normalize making them work for the money and pay up front. About four years of working a working slob job, like most people, will make them more grounded in reality, and more happy to work something better decide if it's really worth it. Or come up with making the university classes cheaper. Maybe actually legitimately accredited online courses that employers are renowned to honor. None of these scammy fake guru teachers that saturate the internet. Well that's all for the videos guys, I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. Have an amazing day.